Tube. Ashley here, Buggy Stitcher on YouTube. Shlizam underscore Buggy Stitcher on Instagram. Coming to you guys with another unboxing. So we have VIP cross stitch this time. Oh, keep looking for it. We have VIP cross stitch who has wanted to collab with me and review some of their projects, uh, products. So let's go ahead and just get into it. All right, first things first. Yeah, first things first. I decided to try out some of their water soluble pens. I thought this was super cool because it comes with purple, pink, blue, and white. And I thought white might be really good on some of my darker colored fabrics. So, let's see. So, Adger Choco Ace Pen is, is the brand. What? Yeah, it's over. I'll have to turn on something else. They look fairly thin. More like a medium tip, I think. So there's the pink, white. Okay, I'll turn it on in a minute. That's purple, but it almost looks pink. Uh, we're gonna try these out in the stitch with me because I have some, um, and blue. I have some lining that I need to do since I just moved the stitching shelf up. So I just moved the stitching shelf up to the spring shelf and I need to, um, to line in all this and then we'll try the white pen out on my poison garden which is on a dark blue piece of fabric so we'll try those out and see what happens um but yeah super excited to give those a try and then let's see we got another disney one <laughs> so, -da! okay let me take it out of the wrapper so you can actually see noise noise warning I'm doing a video all right so yeah I just had to I got winter uh, Alice in Wonderland and Sleeping Beauty is my second and I can't find a Cinderella version of this type of pattern which is so sad because I have like all the other princesses but uh, yeah so we got Aurora and I just love little details in her skirt you can see pretty much the whole story in there so super excited for this one. This is a 30 by 40, I think. Oh, 45, 40 by 50. 40 by 50. So of course our 01 is 310. And I'm actually surprised this kit only has 15 colors. I think that's my least colored kit. Um, so yeah, here is the pattern. Let's see, this is her her face right here, her head, her crown, and then the spinning wheel, and lots and lots of black. Um, you know, I am shocked there is no 939 in this. Actually, I'm kind of excited. I'm okay doing bulk black, but bulk 939 I have a really hard time with for some reason. But yeah, so uh, VAP cross stitch in their um, patterns. Uh, they have the the floss card code, the symbol, the DMC equivalent, and then the DMC color, which I love. I do prefer these to be on posters, but it shouldn't be a... There's so few colors, they're not using any two of the same symbol. Um, so there's not like a red X and then a orange X, which you know, those two, red, orange, and pink all blend together, blue and green blend together, but all the symbols um, are so different because there are only 15 colors. They should be just fine. Okay, let's look at the canvas. Let's not look at the colors. You guys aren't allowed to peek at the colors yet. Okay, so we got our needles right in here. So it came with two needles for us. And it is true to size, so 40 by 50. And stamping is really good. Look at that. I could easily see where her face is, where her hand is. Um, it's actually easier to look at this than it is the pattern because <laughs> um, it's bigger. But you can see all the little details in her skirt, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And guess what, everybody? Today is Friday, which means I can stitch on whatever the heck I want. Whoa! So yeah, I can, I can stitch on it if I want to. And I'm probably going to because this is amazing. Again, they have the really big key. 
They have the really big margin all the way around. It's not serge, but if they give me a big margin, I don't really care. It's looking super good. Super, super good. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the colors because I know everyone, that's what everyone likes to see. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. Again, they just gave me a giant rope <laughs> because there's so much black. This is like my giant hank, basically. So if you want to know how to turn these into a hank, you just um, bend it in half and then twist it until it's super tight and twisting on itself and then let it twist on itself. Um, and then you grab the end and put it through the hole that you just created and then you have yourself like a hank so just in case anyone wanted to know that so you don't have this giant hanging thing it keeps it a little bit more organized when it's in your bag so and let me pause i gotta turn some cartoons on for my son hold on all right we're back let's look at the other colors look at that so with the alice in wonderland i had all purples and um I mean, pretty much every shade of purple and blue known to man. This is where all my greens and teals come in. So I have to get my fix in somehow. Yeah. Not too shabby. Love it. I love the colors. And I normally grab them and just lightly wrap them around. That keeps them untangled and everything. So there's the first pattern. And it wouldn't be my channel if we didn't get another watercolor girl. Just saying. Now I have, um, some people have pointed out that the watercolor girls are, um, the artist is Margaret Morales and it is, uh, Margaret Morales. Um, but I can't find any of these patterns, um, anywhere else. So I'm totally comfortable getting them, um, yeah, the stamp kits. But there we go. Look at her. We got butterflies in the background. Awesome kitty cat on her shoulder. A rainbow, like, gem dress. And then rainbow hair. Oh, so amazing. This is a pretty small photo, so... Well, no, that's okay. You guys can see that, right? Okay. Um, this, is, this is how I like. I like the patterns to come on a poster because this is so much easier for me to see. Now this poster's, poster's printing isn't the greatest and I think it's because, well, I don't know why. Honestly, they normally blow it up for me and it's like this giant like poster thing. Um, so this is actually pretty hard to read, the symbols on the pattern. Um, it's a little blurry, but I think I can make 90% of it out. So I'm, I'm curious because on this pattern specifically, it's got a dark pink and then a light pink square and then a red square and then a peach square. So that's going to be kind of hard to decipher, but we're going to look at it on the canvas together and see how that's going to turn out. But we have 36 colors. And again, this is going to be so hard for you guys to see, but we have the, the, Floss card code, the symbol, the DMC color, and the, and the actual color of the floss. So, um, yeah. So there we go. The bulk color on this is 21, which is 819. So we'll look at that in just a minute. It comes with your little instructions. The ones with posters normally do. Oh, the colors. Okay, no peeking at the colors though, but oh my gosh, the colors. Um, oh, interesting. It's blank. <laughs> it's not printed. What is happening? Okay, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so yeah, the posting said it was supposed to be stamped, and the details below also said it was supposed to be stamped, but they gave me counted. They gave me an 11 count counted kit. So, um, and they gave me a couple of water soluble pens, which I've never used these before. I've actually never purchased or picked out a counted kit from a different company. I've always been a little too nervous to try and use a paper pattern because I've always 
not always. The Winnie the Poohs were on a paper pattern, but I've always, for the most part, used Pattern Keeper. So I find it would be kind of difficult to do counted, I think, based off of a pattern like this that's tiny and blurry. Um, but maybe not. So, um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep unboxing this and I've reached out to VIP cross stitch and, uh, we're talking about it right now and I will post, I will continue doing the review here in a minute. I, yeah, I will insert the rest of the review after this review and we'll go from there. Okay, I'll talk to you guys for you in a millisecond, but I might be dressed differently because it might be a different day, so. Uh, okay. All right, y'all, we are back. It's a new day, it's nighttime here, and yeah. So, let's finish unboxing this. So, as you guys saw, this poster is like what I normally like to get for a stamped kit, the poster type. I don't like the regular piece of paper. So I got this. The kit comes with 36 colors, and but as you can see, it is very tiny printing. So that would be fine for a stamped kit, but because this is counted, that posed a problem for me. So I'm gonna show you guys and explain everything that happened. So here again is the pattern. Beautiful pattern. Absolutely love this watercolor girl. So I reached out to VIP cross stitch and my biggest suggestion for anyone who has a problem with any of their orders with anyone is if you have a problem, just reach out to the person. There's no need to be up. I mean, it's kind of upsetting, right? Because you order something and you're like, well, dang it. That's not what I ordered, but it's not a big deal. You know, it's not a big deal. I sent them a message. I was like, Hey, here's a picture of what I received. Here's a picture of the posting. The posting says it's supposed to be stamped and so does the description and what I received is not stamped. So can you just let me know which it was supposed to be? Did I make a mistake or was there a mistake with the posting? What's going on? Um, so they reached out to me um, fairly quickly. It was like the end of the day because of the time zone difference. And they're like, you know, it's a weekend. I'm so sorry that you were upset with your order. I was like, well, I'm not really upset. I mean, it's okay. It's fine. We all make mistakes. Um, but they were like, um, you know, just package everything back up and, and send it and we will get it replaced and, and look into everything when it's not the weekend because I was filming on Friday and that's their weekend. That's Saturday for them. So they had replied to me on the weekend and they're like, we're so sorry, you know, just don't worry about it. I was like, well, you know, I've wanted to try a counted kit. Um, you know, from one of the companies and I just haven't really had the courage to do it. So I had started stitching on this to try and see what I can do. Um, and so I told them, I was like, Hey, well, I actually already started stitching on the counted to see if I can get it figured out. What do you want to do now? Do you want to just send me a PDF of the pattern? They're like, well, let's just talk about it on Monday if that's okay. Since it's the weekend and manufacturer is closed. And I was like, that's not a big deal. So here's what happened. I started stitching on it and here's where I got to. So I used the pen that was given, um, with the kit, this guy, which by the way, is an amazing pen. Please turn this down, down, bud. And here's where I got to. So it's turning out beautifully. This is 11 count fabric. It's fairly, it's softer than a stamped kit, but, but feels basically like a brand new 14 count piece of fabric, kind of stiff. But that's where we're at. And then, so here is the pattern. So we're right up here in this corner. And it's turning out really good. What I did have to do though, is Bubba, please turn that down. Thank you. You can have it up a little bit, just not all the way. So this is too small for me to see. And um, with how many symbols and stuff they have, it's just, it's too much. So what I did is I took a picture of the, just this section right here with my phone and I blew it up. So basically I, I opened up the picture and I zoomed in and then it was just fine. The only problem is because I am a born pattern keeper stitcher, I have a hard time trying to figure out where I've parked or what I've parked. 
but my rule of thumb when I'm parking is I always park in the bottom left corner. So knowing that if I come up to this very first stitch right here and there's a thread there, I'm assuming that that's it. I only made, I think I made four mistakes um, that I had to pick out and redo, but I found them fairly quickly because what I was doing is I'm stitching by the block and parking. So, you know, you find your, your errors fairly quickly that way because you're working on a 100 by 100 block. So I, I did this basically, this is what I did Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday night, which is their Monday morning, they sent me a message like, you know, we're so sorry. It was the manufacturer's fault. They sent you accounted, but it is supposed to be stamped. So we are going to mail you a stamped kit. We're going to mail it to you or a stamped canvas because I already have the threads, which, oh, oh, I forgot you haven't seen the threads yet. So they are going to send me a new stamped kit. And now I have to decide, do I continue with this? or do I continue with the stamp or start the stamped? And I, I think I'm going to start the stamped because the pattern is so hard to read. I just, I don't think I would work on it fairly often, but it was kind of fun to try and figure this out. It was pretty fun. So what I'll do is, you know, I'm going to be short a couple threads because I, you know, started, but that's okay. That's okay. I have the entire DMC collection, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so that's what I was going to do. And VIP cross stitch was very apologetic and they were super, you know, they're like, thank you for being so understanding. We're so sorry. You know, again, it's not a big deal. I've worked in customer service. I, I understand, you know, things happen and some things happen that are out of your control as well. And you just have to be like, well, sorry, <laughs> it just happened. So I, I get it. I get it. I'm totally okay. If people are nice about it, then it's not a big deal. So let's finish unboxing this beautiful kit. The colors are gorgeous. I absolutely love this watercolor girl. And look at those. Aren't those just lovely? We got blues and pinks and greens, all pastel like colors. Look at that green in there. I love them. I, was, I mean, that's why I, I had to start stitching it. Cause I was like, I just have to check this out. I mean, let me pause my sense game. Okay, I couldn't handle the beeping noise. Anyway, so yeah, gorgeous colors. I had to start stitching it. I couldn't really, I couldn't resist because the pattern is just so lovely. And heck, maybe I'll stitch the stamped kit and then I'll come back and I'll start working on the counted maybe for like a gift or some something. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm about 80% sure that I am gonna switch over to the stamped, but Either way, the threads are very lovely. The, the kit was great for what they did. I mean, the county kit was great other than the pattern. And they were going to send me a PDF pattern, um, like an email. But because they're sending the stamped kit, I don't want to make extra work for them. So, you know, I'm just, I'm fine with what they're going to send me. That's totally okay. And we're just going to we're go, go for there. Go from there. Okay. So about these pens, I attempted one of them. I only tried one though. I didn't try multiple. Um, I tried one on my stitching shelf and it worked great, except five minutes later it disappeared. So let's, um, I'm going to go ahead and take, draw one of the lines on here really fast. And we're just going to see if the blue disappears. The purple is the one that disappeared. The blue seems to be really light. So like bright and vivid. So that's really good. So there's, there's the blue. So that one, oops, sorry, I'm flipping you off. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm proper. Um, so that worked out really good. Um, so let's see if it disappears. The purple one disappeared, but let me just do it on this white fabric and see what happens as well. All right, so there's the purple. Oh, I tried to do it. I think it's because my hands are full. Um, so it's already disappearing. So it was bright like this and now it's disappearing. So I'll show it to you in a minute. And we'll try the pink. Oh, the pink, pink is a pretty light pen too. So I have a feeling it is also going to disappear. All right, so this is two lines over the top of each other. Because the first one was too light. But that, there's that. See how the purple is disappearing? The blue is still there though, so the blue is fine. 
Um, and then I don't have a dark piece of fabric right now to try the white, but yeah, so the purple's no good. And now the pink is disappearing as well. So the pink is also no good. Um, but the blue works great, so that's fine. I mean, yeah, they weren't too expensive on their website. So, you know, for, I think a pen in the store is like four or $5. So you're pretty much getting that. You're getting one pen, you know. Um, again, I still need to try the white on my Poison Garden, but as soon as I do, I'll let, I'll let you all know. But anyway, so there's, there's where I got to. And again, it is turning out really good. It's just really hard to stitch on, especially me of Mama 2. So, um, yeah, I'll probably switch to the stamp when they send it. But there's that. That's all the stuff that we got from VIP Cross Stitch. Again, thank you so much VIP Cross Stitch for sending these products to me for, to review for you. And I also really appreciate your guys' customer service. Um, you guys were super helpful with the mistake. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get to a stitch with me. So because I already kind of started this one, we're going to do the stitch with me with Sleeping Beauty. So stay tuned and we'll go ahead and get started on that. Talk to you in a minute. All right, everybody, we are back for the stitch with me from VIP Cross Stitch, and we are going to be stitching on Sleeping Beauty. So this is one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, so I'm super excited to get started on it. And we're going to start right up here on, at her crown or around her crown area. So we'll be stitching with this lovely color. Um, it's color number seven, which is 943, which is this beautiful like emerald green color. So we're gonna be stitching on this and we're only gonna do a few strands. We'll do one or two or three or something like that. I hope you all are having a fabulous day and had a great weekend. I hope everyone is staying safe, safe as you possibly can. And thank you all again for joining my channel and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate every single one of you. All right, let's see if I can do this without bumping you a ton. My stand, as you all know, is very wiggly. All right, so we're doing these red slashes here. And you might hear some background noise. I got my son watching some cartoons. What, Bubs? No juice, Bubba. Just water today. No, I can make you some dinner. You want some dinner? We're not having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner. Do you want some dinner? Are you ready for some food? We don't have mac and cheese. That's not what's for dinner. We're having potatoes and scrambled eggs and sausage. You want some? Yeah. Okay. I want two for two. Well, mommy already ate. But do you want me to get you a bowl? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you a bowl. All right, everybody. I will be right back. Got to get my, my bubby some some stuff hold on all right let's try this again sorry I'm gonna get all bumpy while I get back into my spot here all right here we go anyway I hope you guys and gals got a chance to stitch some this weekend or craft diamond paint crochet knit sew, whatever you do and again I thank you all for joining me the giveaway has been sent out. You should be receiving it any day, actually. So thank you guys all again for um, you know leaving a comment for the giveaway and helping me get to a thousand subscribers. It's crazy. I'm already almost up to 1,100 <laughs> subscribers. It's, it just keeps going up. But I couldn't do any of this without every single one of you. So I appreciate all the friends I've made and continue to make and I just love hanging out with everybody oh and if you're still hanging in with me on this video I have a, a secret I um, I got my first diamond painting to unbox so 
I had left a poll and asked you guys, I left a poll on Instagram and I also asked everybody on here if they wanted to see just cross stitching, diamond painting, or both. And about a third said both, and two thirds, well, a third said both, a third said I just like to watch your videos, and then the other third said just cross stitching. So here's what I decided to do. I like to, to diamond paint too. Um, I have been out of diamond painting for a little over a year now um, because I made a ton of really big diamond paintings for all of my brothers and they were very large. Um, I think one of them was a 40 by 60, one was a 50 by 70, and the other one I think was like a, a 40 by 50. And I made all those in one year and I really burnt myself out. Um, but I have gotten a couple of diamond, I got a couple diamond paintings before I stopped diamond painting. So I think I have three diamond paintings um, like that I haven't started. And I also have a diamond painting that I'm working on right now that was gifted to my daughter um, that she wants me to do for her. It's of Elsa. And so what I decided I'm going to do is I, I started this channel with the intention of only doing cross stitch. And I still plan on mostly doing that. But here's the thing. Every once in a while, I am going to unbox a diamond painting because my kids really like diamond paintings. They like me to do the diamond paintings for them. I like to do them sometimes. So I thought, why not? So, But what I'll do is I will put the unboxing of the diamond painting at the end of the unboxing portion of the video. And I'll leave timestamps as well um, in the video. Um, in case you all want to skip the diamond painting part, because I understand, you know, this is floss tube. This isn't diamond tube. <laughs> um, so I get it. I, I get it. Um, but I, I did want to start picking some diamond paintings, but again, not very many because I definitely don't want to have as many whips diamond painting wise as I do cross stitch. Um, but I did, I did want to try and, and unbox a couple of diamond paintings. So yeah, that's what I decided to do. And again, feel free to skip it. I'm really struggling with this thread. Feel free to skip it if you want to or watch. Um, but again, I will leave the timestamps in the description and also in the video, or at least I'll try to remember in the video. So that way, if you want to skip, you can. But that's why I decided. What is it, bubs? Oh no, it's an advertisement. Here you go. Mom. What? Can I turn it out? What? You can turn it a little bit. You can turn it up a little bit, not a ton. All right, now we're going to try number 15, which is the green X, which is this turquoise greenish color right here. No, don't throw a fit about the game, so you won't be able to play games. I, do I know you did, but it wasn't working, so mommy had to fix it for you, okay? No, Are you going to throw a fit about the game? Yeah. Okay, if you're going to throw a fit, we need to shut it off then. All right, are you all done throwing a fit then? Turn it down and go sit in daddy's spot. <laughs> no, don't throw a fit about it, otherwise we don't get the games, okay? You don't want to play games? Okay, if you want to play games, then you got to be nice, calm bodies, okay? Good job. Anyway, so we're going to do this green. See what that looks like. And then I think I'll probably end it after this thread. We're not going to do a very long stitch with me today. I'm sorry. But it is later in the afternoon slash evening. I got to do bath with the kiddos. And get everybody ready for bed. So we're just gonna do this part. Bubba, please turn it down. Huh. 
Turn it down, please. Thank you. Mommy's almost done, and then you can have it turned up. But we're going to be done with the game soon, okay? Because I don't want you to be on there for very long. Okay? Anyway, I love the colors of this kit. Absolutely love them. And I'm super excited about all the Disney collection, honestly. But I really wish there would be a Cinderella one. I'm so sad that there's not. Bubba, please turn it down. Hey. Please turn it down. If I have to ask you again to turn it down, then you don't get to play anymore, okay? Thank you. Keep it down until Mommy's done with her video. It's too loud on my ears. Thank you. That's perfect. Anyway, so we'll try out a couple diamond paintings. See how that goes. I'm not going to do like a diamond paint with me. I'm just going to do the unboxing. Um, so that's what I'll do. And we'll just go from there. See what happens. Super excited about some of the projects that are coming in from collabs. I'm actually just about to record another video after this one with another collab that just came in. Um, super excited to get this one over with and I'll get, I'll keep you all updated on the stamped kit that comes in from VIP cross stitch too. So like on my next unboxing video from VIP cross stitch, um, if I have another one, um, I'm sure I probably will, but, um, I'll, I'll unbox that, um, that stamped canvas for you all. So you can see what that ends up looking like too. So, but yeah, I, you know, I like you all to see what she need help with, Bob. Oh, did you watch the reel on accident over here? I'll get you out of there so you can race. Go, just a tiny bit longer on the games okay okay um yeah so I like everybody to see the good and the bad of any kits you know and they don't make mistakes very often but when they do um it's nice to see how a company handles the mistake um and I really wanted to be able to share that with everybody which is why I recorded well, first of all, I unbox everything live with you. So what I see, you're seeing at the same time. So there's that. Um, but I, I like, I wanted everyone to be able to see how I handle it, how I would have handled it, how I would and did because they're both the same. And, um, and basically what happens now. So I, I'm a consumer just like everybody else, not in these videos for unboxing videos, and collabs, but I do purchase my own stamp kits and everything from these companies that I collab with as well. And so it's nice to know that a company I am collabing with is um, has good customer service because if they don't, I don't want to collab with them and show you guys a bunch of unboxing videos and it, they don't have very good customer service and we're all unhappy and you're like, why did you show me this? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't know they were like that. So yeah, if I get bad vibes from people, I don't collab with them. Um, so, yeah. I'm playing chicken. I just have one leg of the stitch left. That's it, just one leg. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, I did it. That's right. I know. I'm awesome. I'm playing thread chicken. <laughs> No, I'm actually terrible. You guys saw how many times I lost on the very first thread. All right. Well, thank you all so much again for joining me. I'm going to continue stitching on this so we can get some progress and you can see what it looks like on the next update video, which will be next week. So I hope you all have a fabulous day and are staying safe. And thank you all for watching and take care. Bye.